Hey everybody, happy 4th of July um, in advance to everybody watching this video. I'm going to be celebrating 4th of July tomorrow with these cool guys right here. Uh, these are black magic snakes, which I'm sure we're all familiar with from our childhood. I'm going to be using that as an alternative to fireworks and firecrackers just because I'm worried about the sensory deprivation or the sensory damage that those can cause to the local wildlife here as well as the potential fire hazard such products can have um, with all the foliage around where I live. So that's how I'm going to choose to celebrate 4th of July and regardless of how you guys choose to celebrate it. I hope everybody has a very good day tomorrow and maybe hopefully some day off, time off from work. So anyways, uh, the particular product I want to talk about today is called Alpha Tradial and here is a bottle of it. The trade name is Pantostin and I have some history with this product and unlike uh, azelic acid, this is one I actually would recommend in several cases because I do think it works. Uh, but going over my history with the product, I first encountered it when I was in Frankfurt, Germany in 2010. I was going to be there for the next two months, but sadly I had left my finasteride prescription uh, back in the USA, so I had to figure out a way to maintain my follicular density while uh, before I can actually go back on finasteride again. So it was going to be for the next two months. So I did some research. I came across a lot of bullshit products like, you know, the typical hair loss shampoos like Alpacin that are heavily marketed. And what I found was interesting is that in Germany, there's actually a product that is approved for the treatment of uh, pattern baldness for both men and women in addition to minoxidil. And that's this product, Alpha Tradial. And I thought, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do some research on it. And the study I came across, and this is a study from 2007, which I still have at my disposal today. But basically what it did is that it had um, a, a, a patients that who were, were randomized into groups. And like one of the groups actually was using a 2% minoxidil solution twice daily for a period of 12 months. And then there was another group who would use a 0.025% alpha tradial. And that's exactly what this is. I don't think it's available in any other solution. And they were going to use it uh, once daily for six months and then switch to 2% minoxidil for seven to 12 months. And they're going to see what kind of hair growth parameters were uh, determined using TricoScan, which is just a way to determine like hair growth. So Anyways, the results did show that 2% minoxidil was uh, more powerful uh, than uh, alpha tradial over a six-month period of time, and that the people who used alpha tradial, they were able to maintain, maintain and decelerate hair loss uh, while they were using it, but hair growth improved once they switched to 2% minoxidil. And if you're looking at that study, you may think, okay, well, alpha tradial is complete shit then because it's not even as good as minoxidil and more so it's not even good, as good as 2% minoxidil because the minoxidil that most of us are familiar with that most men use is 5% minoxidil, which we know is about 45% more effective than 2% minoxidil. So why in the hell would anyone even consider using uh, alpha tradial compared to minoxidil? And I think... Um, that it's a mistake to write it off just because of this one study. Because one thing about minoxidil is that, yeah, it does work. It's probably the most effective hair growth treatment, we uh, hair growth stimulant we have in the market right there. However, not every treatment for hair loss is a hair, uh, is a hair growth stimulant. You also have to go after the root cause of hair loss, which are androgens, DHT. And unlike minoxidil, this actually uh, works more similarly to Propecia because what alpha tradial is, is an actual weak estrogen. And you may think, holy shit, I don't want to touch anything that's estrogen, you know, if I'm a guy and I want to maintain my virility, but the good news about alpha tradial is that it's weak enough that it doesn't actually have any um, um, systemic absorption or feminizing effects, even when it's used in large doses at three milliliters or more. However, it is just powerful enough that it still works as an indirect anti-androgen because estrogen, even though it's its own sex hormone, it has an indirect anti-androgenic effect. So even though alpha tradial is not as strong as uh, minoxidil as at growing hair, according to the study. Uh, it's still, it works differently in the sense that it actually treats hair loss at the source. And another important thing about the study is that this was only conducted over about like six months or so. But if you want to look at um, the long-term effects of hair loss, minoxidil really isn't a very effective long-term treatment. That's why a lot of people who are on minoxidil, they'll like start with minoxidil like I did, and they'll use it for like a couple years, and they'll notice that minoxidil doesn't work very effectively anymore. And that's because... Even though minoxidil works at regrowing hair, you're not actually targeting the underlying cause of hair loss. So minoxidil doesn't actually treat androgenic alopecia, male pattern baldness. Finasteride does. Finasteride does because 
finasteride actually targets the DHT. And this targets DHT as well. It targets uh, testosterone too. And testosterone, even though it's not nearly as damaging as DHT, does have some necrotic effect on the hair follicles. So in a sense, this may actually have a small advantage over finasteride, at least in one regard, because finasteride only goes after DHT, whereas this targets both um, uh, DHT and testosterone. So even though it's not a very powerful treatment, it does have an effect uh, on actually lowering androgens on the scalp, and that's not something you can say about minoxidil. Now, it's the most powerful uh, topical anti-androgen that you can use on the market. Uh, no, not by a long shot. I'd say that RU58841 is much more powerful. However, the thing about RU58841 and other like experimental research products like that is that it's kind of a gray area. It is a gray market product. And what I mean by that is that it's legal to actually own it and buy it for experimental purposes, but it's not legal to use it for personal use. In fact, if you order RU5841, there's a very good chance that customs will contact you. And if you say that you're going to use it for personal use, they'll tell you, well, we're not going to give it to you. That's why you have to say it's for experimental purposes. And a lot of people don't want to like risk using a gray market product. But this is an actual legit product. It's, it's obscure, uh, uh, but it's absolutely legit. It's approved for uh, the treatment of hair loss in Germany. Uh, it never really caught on outside of Germany and Latin American countries, but it is a viable product. And it's a good product for people who maybe can't use finasteride or don't want to risk... Uh, uh, using uh, experimental treatments like RU5841 because another thing about those experimentals is that we don't really know the long-term effects of them so using them is kind of risky and I can understand why a lot of people don't want to uh, treat themselves like human guinea pigs but on a personal note for my research subject I have experimented with this um, uh, with ex mixing this with RU5841 and I have found that uh, kind of like stamoxidine which is a hair growth stimulant this mixes very very well with RU5841 so if you want to give this like a an extra kick you can add like 10 to 20 milligrams of RU5841 put it just in like a like a six milliliter vial or something to shake it up and it will dissolve, dissolve pretty effectively so in addition to the alpha triodial you'll have RU5841 on it and you'll have a very very strong uh topical uh treatment for hair loss and of course like I'm talking about a lot of these things and they seem like overkill and, and for a lot of people they are uh, and that's why I tell people like you know if you're new to hair loss just ask your doctor about getting a prescription for finasteride for about 90% of people that will be an effective long-term treatment finasteride is a very effective drug and it's also very convenient it's just a pill that you can take like an aspirin and just forget about it and if you're talking about uh, the fight with hair loss it is a long-term battle so you don't want to like have to rely on something that's fairly inconvenient to use and this isn't the most convenient treatment it does make the hair look a little bit greasy. Uh, it takes a little bit long, uh, a while to dry. It doesn't take as long to dry as um, uh, minoxidil. Minoxidil takes about four hours to dry. This takes about like maybe two or three hours to dry, and it doesn't have as negative of a, of a cosmetic effect as uh, liquid minoxidil. Of course, if you're worried about the uh, cosmetic detriments that minoxidil has, I also have another video about how to convert uh, minoxidil foam to liquid minoxidil. I recommend checking that video out if you have any problems with this. But all right, so just summing up uh, as this product, I think this is a legit product. I'm going to go ahead and link that study below that I was referencing. And this might be a good idea for people who are looking for a very strong uh, topical anti-androgen if they want to mix it with RU5841, or they're just looking for something uh, that they can use as an anti-androgen themselves in the short or long term if they have issues with using finasteride or an alpha-5 reductase inhibitor to begin with. But yeah, I do uh, recommend this product. I do endorse this product. I haven't had any side effects with it. And even in the test groups, there were no side effects with it and I think that you know maybe a lot of people might be hesitant to use it because the study makes it seem like it's not very good so maybe in the short term this isn't as effective as minoxidil but as a long-term product this has got to be more effective than minoxidil just because it actually goes after the androgens on the scalp which you can't say about minoxidil so anyways that's all I wanted to say about this I'll be back with more videos soon I hope you guys found this video informative and I'll see you guys next time take care